Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial. And I'm going to be creating a Pokemon coffee mug. It's going to be something like, uh, something up I did one earlier, or actually yesterday. It's going to be a mug like this. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and make this one actual size of a mug that I have here. So uh, you'll be able to use it. Okay, we're going to go to File New, and then Create a New Design, and then we're going to just go ahead and make, click that eye icon there to Plan View, and we'll change it like this. So I'm going to be taking some measurements from a cup that I, mug that I have, so just kind of bear with me here. So we're going to be making this one uh, I'd say 94. All right, so what we're going to do is start off with a line tool here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, click over there. And uh, we're going to be revolving this in half. So basically, this is going to be, uh, I mean, if we go 94, this will be uh, 45, 47. So we're going to pull that line over to 47. Just type in 47. And that'll go uh, full length. And I'm going to put a little step up on mine, a little, a little base, but we'll add that later. So the height of the cup, um, we're going to do 115. So just go ahead and make sure that that line is straight there while it's highlighted. In the dimensional area, just type in 115, hit enter. And now we're going to do the, have this part here. So this is going to be our part that we rotate. We can add the, uh, the little uh, base later if we're even going to do that. Okay, so what I want to do now, 115, we're going to um, we're going to divide that in half, and then that's where we're going to put our little Pokemon ball. Uh, so we need to uh, hang on one second here. So we did 115, divide that into two, so 57. Uh, five is where we're going to put the. Uh, we're going to move this up to fifty-seven five. So, um, or just go in the middle, which you should see the little, the little point right there. Okay, we're going to go. Uh, well, let's offset this stuff first. Okay, so we're going to come up here to our offset tool, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, let's just offset it. See how many millimeters we should do this. Probably pretty thick. Regular mugs, about five. So we're going to go six. Okay, so six. And then we're going to offset this one, six. Okay. And then we're going to put a top on this. All right. Now we'll just go ahead and trim. So get our trim away. This right here. Or hit T on your keyboard. And then we're just going to get rid of those little pieces right there. Okay, now we're going to put our middle, our little uh, spot that we're going to have to come in. Um, so we'll go ahead and draw this center line right here. Okay. And then I want to see how much I want to make offset this. So probably, let's just do 20. All right, so with that line there, we're going to come over here to our offset. We're going to offset the top part up 10. So let's go 10, so type in 10. And then the bottom one, 10, so type in 10. Okay, so now we have this little uh, cutout here. Um, now we want to go ahead and uh, offset this one over, just like the other one, 6. Okay, so now we need to have this little piece here trimmed out. So we'll get our trim away stuff. And then we'll trim away these. We want this little opening here to put our Pokemon ball in there. And then we need to get rid of that. Um, let's see here. Get rid of this one. That one, that one, that one. And then um, what I did on the last one is I kind of angled this because you need to have this. This has to be solid right here. So what we can do, um, 
let's just go ahead because you have to have thickness there as well. So um, we can come up to here and then just kind of angle this over. And then just, so let's just trim that part out, trim that part out. And then come up here, let's grab this. Let's go up. Um, I don't want, I want it to be kind of a, a little bit of a taper. So let's just do 33. And then we'll angle that and connect it to the end point there. And then go get your trim away, which will be this. And then just trim away that piece. So yeah, you have to have something like this because if you don't, then this this is not going to be strong enough in the middle there. So, um, okay. So this is what our uh, cup's going to look like, and then we're going to go ahead and go from endpoint there with a the line to endpoint. So now we have our piece that we want to revolve. So we're going to go ahead and uh, before we do that, we're going to go ahead and go to create rounded corner. I'm just going to put a little fill it in there so it's smoother. Uh, when we round it over. Okay, now we're going to go to pull. We're going to go ahead and click that shape there. We're going to come over here to the revolve. And then we're going to click this piece right here. And then we're going to come down here to this little arrow and then do a full revolve. Okay, so this is going to be our cup, our coffee cup. And a couple things I'm going to do add some fillets to it. But for right now, we're going to come in here and add the handle. So what we need to do is add a, uh, a plane. So come up here to plane. And then we're going to go, we want to make sure that this is in the center. So just go ahead. I guess it doesn't matter which one. Just click that red there, the X. And then go grab your select tool. Let's click there. And then come over here to plan view. Now let's do control plus on the keyboard and then grab our pan, just kind of pan down a little bit right to here. Okay, so now we're going to get our square tool or a rectangle tool. And then we want to put, uh, let's go from define from center. So make sure that's checked. And then I'm going to take some measurements here. So looking like at a regular handle will be in about 20. Let's do 22 millimeters. So we're going to go right around here find from center. So we're going to go 22 wide and then we're going to make it uh, maybe 10 thick. Okay, so let's go tab. Let's do uh, 22, 22 and 10 thick. Okay, so something like this. Or actually, let's make it a little bit thicker. Let's go 24 thick. Oh, actually, undo that. All right, I'm good with that. Okay, so now we're going to get our round, create rounded corner tool. I'm going to go ahead and create a small round right there, three point, and then do another one at three point. Uh oh, undo that was eight. Just make sure that's three. Okay. So now you have the shape that we're going to revolve around. Okay, so now we're going to go over here to the mode. And then we want to go ahead and spin this. Okay, so what we want to do is grab that and pull it out. So we're going to go to move and click on the handle there, grab the blue. And we're going to pull it so it comes past just a little bit past right there. Okay, so now we can, we don't need this anymore so actually let's keep that because we're gonna we gotta add that circle in there still so we're gonna go ahead and get the uh, plane tool again and we're gonna add another plane um, but we're gonna add it to the blue so this is going to be on the Z okay so now we want to go ahead and click that new plane that we added come over here to the plan view or V on your keyboard now we want to add that shape Okay, so what we want to do, we want to add a shape. I want my handle to be, I don't know, I'm guessing 50 millimeters out. So what we want to do is grab the line tool, and then we just want to come over here on the inside of this mug. Because you want this handle when we sweep it to be on the inside. So go from here, 
and then come out 50. Yeah, I think 50 might be kind of big. So let's go, let's just do 45. Okay, we're going to come out there to 45. And then we want the length of the handle. We'll go 80, 85. That's good right there. Or actually, let's go, let's go 88. Click there, and then we'll come back into here. So these meet like this. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and round these corners here. So we're going to get the corner rounder. And then we'll click there. Put a pretty generous round on there, maybe 19. And then we'll do this one at 19. Or that's 18. Sorry about that. My dog is huffing. So, yeah, that's what he does. And that's his new routine is to huff at me. Okay, so now we have this shape here. So what we want to do is go ahead and go to move. We want to click on that. We want to grab it by the blue arrow and pull it in to the into that mug. Okay, and then with it still being selected, we want to do pull. And then we want to go over here and select this sweep. And then we want to multiple click. And then we want to click this silver arrow and sweep it around like this. Okay. All right, so that's going to be our handle. <clears throat> and just make sure that this is in there and that it's not going through this side. Okay, so this is going to be our Pokemon mug. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use that same plane. Uh, we, I want the, uh, we want the shape to be on the front of the mug, so we need to use this plane right here. So we're going to go ahead and grab this plane, click on it, and we're going to go to move. We're going to grab the blue, the blue arrow, and then we're going to pull this out just a little bit past the plastic mug. So right to there. And then we're going to come over here to plan view. And then we're going to go to pan. We'll just pan up a little bit. Okay, so now we're going to grab our circle tool. And then... Um, going to put a circle here at the width that we want to cut into this plastic. I think I want, want mine cut in to be 30. Oh, that's pretty big. So let's just go 34. Okay, so 34. All right, so 34 will be good. So we're going to go ahead and make that first. So we're going to go to the mode tool. We're going to spin this around. Then um, go to select. I'm going to get rid of that plane right there. I'm going to go to here. And we're going to come over here to pull. Select pull. Then we're going to do cut. And then we're going to pull this into the plastic like this. All right. So let's go ahead and spin this because you, you need to pull it a certain certain depth so we're going to go up to and then we're going to go up to here uh, that didn't seem to work so let's go like this go do an undo go to pull pull up to this piece oh that didn't do it okay so we want to cut so we hit your cut then we want to do up to and then go up to this ring here okay so now you have this shape here. So this is the shape that you need. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and rotate that. Let's go ahead and move this plane because we're going to use it again. Grab the blue, and we want to pull that inside the cup, not through to the outside, but just enough where we're going to be putting that other little circle in there. And we want to make sure that it's going at least going into the cup. All right, so we're going to need to pull that a little bit more. So go here, go to back to move, grab the blue, and then drag it in a little bit more. Okay, so we're, right there is good. Okay, now hit the plan view, and then go to pan, select pan from here, move it up. Let's get our circle tool. 
and we're going to go from the middle there. Some of them have uh, two circles. They have one bigger one and then one smaller one. But I think I'm just going to put one. So we'll go 24 millimeters to make it even. And then we're going to go select. Come up down here to modes and go to your 3D mode. Then we're going to spin this. Okay. So now you're going to go. It looks like we didn't put this far enough in here. So we're going to go ahead and go to the move. And then we're going to grab the blue. We're going to move that in to the plastic. Okay. And then we'll just select it. Deselect that by holding down control. We'll go to pull. And then we're going to go. Oh, something's not something's going on here. Here's okay, so let's do a couple of undos. Alright, so we're gonna move this. Go to move and go to move up to, and then we're gonna go up to here. Didn't seem to want to move it. Okay, so let's just manually move this. So here's what we're gonna do. Click there, hit the blue. Let's kind of move this up. Okay, now we're going to select, go to pull, and we're going to drag that down into the plastic. And just make sure that you didn't go through on the inside. Okay, we're good. All right, so now we're done with that. We can go ahead and get rid of that plane. Don't need it. Now we can go to um, trimetric. And if you want to rotate this around, you can just do select all. Go to the move. Hit the green or select that green and then just rotate that over. You want to do 180, so type 180 in there. Okay, and now we want to select the red arrow and move that over like this. And then do the green, so something like that. So now when you hit the trimetric, it will go to there. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our mug. Um, we're going to add some subtle details to this. First up, first one, we're going to go to pull. We're going to add a fillet in here. So this is not, uh, this is a little bit softer when you're drinking this. We'll do, let's undo that. Let's click on that line right there and type in 1.5. Okay, that's going to be our first fillet. This one, type in 1.5. Okay, so 1.5 seems to be a good fillet. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and put a fillet on this one here. Maybe just one. So it's not so pronounced. One is good. Um, I think I want to put a fillet around the whole thing here. So let's double select everything. And we'll do one. And then we'll do the same on the top, just multiple clicks till everything, till you select everything that you want to select. Type in one, enter. Okay, so that looks good. Um, I want to put a fillet here so it's not a weak spot. So we're going to go ahead and go to pull. Let's go to there. And let's just type in like 0.5. We don't need it to be one. Okay, 0.5. Now we're going to do one here. So just Multiple select and do, uh, let's just try one. Okay, one's good. You don't want weak spots and fillets help. Uh, so go ahead and multiple select that to get the outside. Uh, something's going on with this one. All right, let's spin this around. Let's go to pull. Some reason it's not wanting to select all of these. Hmm. Okay, so got a little issue right here. All right, so let's just figure out what's going on here. And right, let's pan over. Let's go ahead and uh, we might have to just. Hold down control key and get these one by one here. Hit one. Okay, looks like something's going on there, so 
gonna have to uh, figure this out. Oh, there, there's a problem. Is this piece right here is not all the way in there? So let me, let me zoom in. Okay, so what we're gonna do is go to pull. So you're gonna, we're gonna have to zoom in quite a bit. So let's go to pan. Sorry about that. This should have been at the same level as the other one. So we're gonna select that and just pull this in. Okay. And then control minus to zoom back out. And then we're gonna spin this. Yeah, that was our problem right there. It just wasn't inside of the cup. So now we're gonna go ahead and multiple click. It looks like it's not in that side either. All right, let's go to um, pull here. Something's going on right there too. Well, let's just let's just select that part for now and hit one. All right, looks like you got it. All right, so just make sure that that's okay. Just screw control minus. Let's go ahead and pan this or spin. So make sure the inside of the cup is good. Make sure we got all our fillets out there. These look good. Now, if you want to check your cup to make sure that it looks okay, just go ahead and get your plane. Uh, put one in the middle. Well, this looks like it's the cup is kind of. Let me go back to here, trimetric, straighten that out, add plane, and then add one. Let's add one right there at that, that point, and then we're just going to move this. So we'll click on the plane, and then grab the blue. We'll just pull it into here like this. Now just hit K. And now you can check your components, make sure that everything is okay. So it looks like the handle is inside here. The fillets are showing up good. Um, doesn't look like anything. We've got a pretty thick bottom here. We have our little round piece. Okay, so it looks like the integrity of the cup is good. Our dimensions are good. Go back to uh, mode here and get rid of this plane. Okay, so this is basically our cup. Um, you can print this with uh, you know the different colors, the different Pokemon ball colors. Uh, if you want, you could maybe uh, use a red, a red material for here. You could use a white material for here, maybe black for here in the ball. And then a handle, you could do a different color. I'm just going to check a few more things. It looks like this is good. I could put a light fillet under here so this is not a weak spot. So let's go ahead and do that. And that'll be our last thing. Just multiple click, maybe a 0.5. So it's not so noticeable, but it helps. And then if you are going to make this and print it, you want to make sure that you print it. Uh, with a uh, food grade, food safe, uh, food grade safe uh, plastic, so you can uh, drink out of this and it's not going to make you sick. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then the only last thing I might do is add a little uh, chamfer to the bottom here. So we'll go ahead and select that with pull, and then we'll go change this to the second one, which is chamfer, and then we'll just add a little, maybe uh, undo that. Just do 1.5 chamfer. Okay. Give it a little bit more detail. Okay, that's looks like that's going to be it for our mug. We want to go ahead and create that. So what we basically did is we drew half half the mug here with this indent shape, um, measured our mug, and then we revolved that around. And then we added another plane here. So we and drew this little uh, shape here of the handle. And then we drew another plane and drew this outline right here. 
And then we went ahead and selected uh, this piece here, and then we uh, did a sweep using this, and then we sweeped it along this path here. And then we were a little short here, so we ended up having to select the solid and kind of drag it into the mug a little bit. Um, then we added a plane out here, and then we put this circle here, and we went ahead and uh, cut it into the, uh, the shape, and we did a use the up to feature, and we cut it up to here, and then we do uh, use that same plane, and we draw drew this circle, and we extruded it into the cup. Uh, then we went ahead and added our fillets uh, to the outside here, outside here, um, to the mug, fill it there, fill it there. And we went ahead and added uh, two fillets on top here. Um, and then we went uh, to the bottom and added a uh, one and a half millimeter chamfer. And the last thing we could probably do to make this a little bit better is to add a uh, maybe a two and a half millimeter fillet right here. So I'm going to undo that. I'm going to select just the line and do 2.5. Okay, now we go back to um, Trimetric. And this is going to be our Pokemon uh, coffee mug. Okay, I hope you enjoyed watching and you got some useful tips out of this video. Um, and as always, thanks for watching.